Today I will teach you how to write the practicals in practical record book. Let's start. Here you will write experiment number, today's date and page number. And exactly below that you have to write first the name of the practical. See. On your left hand side a blank page is there. There also first of all you have to draw a margin line and then write down the name of the practical. Now leave one line and below that write down the aim of the practical. Aim to establish the relationship between weight of a rectangular wooden block lying on a horizontal table and the minimum force required to just move it using a spring balance. Now leave one line and exactly below that write down the material required. Material required, wooden block and spring balance. Now leave one line and write down the procedure. Procedure point number one. A wooden block with a hook is placed on a table. Point number two. Note down the least count of the spring balance. Point number three. The spring balance is attached to the hook. Point number four. Hold the spring in such a way that the reading display in the spring balance can be noted down without any error. Point number 5. The applied force on the spring balance is gradually increased until it just starts to move. Point number 6. The reading of the spring balance is noted. Now here we will draw a diagram. This is a diagram for this experiment. Now here we will write the observations. First of all we will write the least count of the spring balance. Below that draw the observation table here. This is the observation table. Serial number. Mass of the block which we represent by capital M. It is in kilogram. Force required which we represent by capital F. And unit for that is Newton. You have to take at least 3 observations. Now according to the observations you have to write the result. After procedure you have to write the result. Through your observation you will find that as the mass of the block increases, the force required to move the block is also increases. Force applied to just move the block 
is directly proportional to the mass of the block that is f is directly proportional to m after this we will write the precautions which we have to take while performing this experiment precautions number 1 a suitable spring balance to pull the block must be used number 2 the spring balance should be brought in elastic mode before doing the experiments number 3 the reading of the spring balance should be taken without any error number 4 a smooth table must be used 